Hey, what is happening YouTube? It is Captain Shock here and today I'm bringing you some nuclear gameplay aka the deatomizer strike in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a nuclear in this game. But first, remember to equip the gun with the nuclear perk, otherwise you will not get the deatomizer strike. And it happened to me before in another game, I went 45 and 0. And I was wondering why, where is my deatomizer strike? But then I realized the gun I was using wasn't the gun with the nuclear perk on it. So don't make that mistake. All right, so the first thing you want to do is equip the warfighter specialist and use the ping trait. And you can either use the fast running ability or you can use the claw or combat focus, whichever one you want. I do prefer the combat focus and the ping trait is a must. So of course with the ping setup, when you kill someone, it will emit a ping on the minimap and you can see enemies around within that circular ping. And that comes in very useful when you're going on a nuclear streak. Because at the moment, the spawn system in this game is that they will spawn the enemies on their teammates who are surviving, who are in a fairly safe area. So you're gonna meet a lot of enemies grouped up together. As for the gun, you're going to want to use the NV4 assault rifle with a suppressor, grip and quick draw attached to it. As for the perks, you're definitely going to want to run Ghost and then Scavenger and possibly Maxman, your choice. But I do run Maxman, it helps out a lot. But the top two, Ghost and Scavenger. Ghost because of the UAV spam, Scavenger because you're using a gun with a special perk attached to it. So you want ammunition for that gun. And I run Hardline in a perk 2 slot as well. So I have Scavenger and Hardline. So what that does is in case you lose your nuclear streak, you have a backup of getting your assault streaks. And that pairs well with combat focus. But if you don't want to use any additional perks such as Hardline or Dexterity, then take them off and put on stock on the NV4. It is actually pretty good on that weapon. So you can see this entire class setup is almost identical to the first video I brought you with the most consistent class setup in Infinite Warfare. So we're one step of the game right here. The next thing you should do as for the score streaks, you should run the UAV, the Scorchers and the Warden. And this actually is effective. And I know the popular thing is to run UAV counter UAV only, right? You see that a lot. But I'm showing you something different, what actually works. I'm going to tell you why it works. It is better to run some assault streaks in your setup because it will create some fear into the enemy's minds. Whereas if you use the counter UAV, it's not too bad. But if you use that, they're going to start paying more attention to what's ahead of them. They're going to stay focused and just be so alert to what's ahead of them. So you don't want them to do that. You want them to be distracted by the air. You want them to think at the back of the, their minds that this warden is going to come from the air and shoot them from the air. Or the scorcher is going to blow them up. And with that distraction and shock and awe, you're going to have a chance to kill them without getting melted by them in a group. So that's the main reason behind that setup. Now, if you're on a nuclear streak, you call in your first set of assault streaks first, right? You call that in. But when you get to your second streaks, then only call in the scorchers. Don't call in the ward. So it'll give you some time to get your kills, to get the nuclear, to get the, the atomizer strike. However, if you find yourself in a tight situation, then do call in the warden so it can help you out. The next thing you need to do is play the game like you're playing free for all when you're going for a nuclear. So what that means is any good player in free for all knows that you patrol an area. You don't run head first in the middle of the map, etc. You patrol a certain area and you take advantage of the spawns. And when you're navigating the map, do so around the edges. Try to avoid running in the middle of the map. The health regeneration in this game takes a little more time than usual. And the time to kill is at a fast rate in this game at the moment. So what you need to do is make sure and recharge your health fully before you go and quickly engage in another enemy. 
because the enemies will melt you if you are weak. Also, don't stay around your teammates too much because your teammate could have a unsuppressed weapon and alert the enemies to your presence. If you do for some reason want to play with an unsuppressed weapon, then put on a counter UAV because the enemies will track you, they will come after you when you are on a streak. Also, be aware of the fact that if you kill an enemy, there are going to be other enemies around that enemy you just killed because of the spawn system at the moment. And look at this, I'm one off my sh my nuclear streak and I'm searching so hard for someone. And look, he just appears from the air. He almost got me, but you have to pay attention and keep calm. And that's what happens. The atomizer strike. And I love the sound of it, listen to it. That's what's up. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please show some love if you did. Please like the video. Please share the video if you want to see me grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.